at our North Metro Lake. We're just uh, hoe hopping. I think the weather's pretty nice, mid 20s, high 20s. And uh, we're just hoe hopping for crappies. So I got my hub set back there. Bumble fishing, bumblebee fishing's right there. And I got my brown law with me. And uh, we're just hoe hopping. And... All right guys, so we're just using a three millimeter jig head teardrop with the Hitler's waxies. And we got a lot of murk down there right now. So I'm just gonna get it down there as quick as I can. I'm gonna show you a quick technique of how to fish these plastics. Once you get it down to where you want, need it to. The key thing to these lures is you wanna make sure that you pause. So you wanna wiggle the tip and give it a pause give them time to to bite and then I'm also looking at my rod tip to look for the up bite so I'm looking at my locator right now there I see one coming up I'm looking at my rod tip right now and I'm just kind of holding pausing if nothing that I'll just give it a quick wiggle and pause and if nothing I would just go a little bit a little bit above them just make them chase them up Chase up my bait and what it's doing right now, it's chasing it up. And they just kind of went down. Oh, here comes another one. One thing when you're hole hopping is uh, even though there's there may be a lot of fish marked on your locator. You actually, you only want to fish it 5-10 minutes tops. Because once the fish underneath, they kind of they kind of have a gist of what's going on. They, they'll kind of start being finicky. One's coming up right now. Yeah, they're, they're very finicky now. Come up right now. Oh, did you see that? I don't know if you guys saw. That. Oh, did you see that? I don't know if you guys saw that, but my tip just moved down, and I just missed that light bite. Oh, another one's coming up. And I'll make them chase them up too. I lift it up then I give it a short pause and the fish is coming right up if not then and it went back down so run up there being finicky so time to hop on whole hop go to the new spot Now that I moved to a new spot, the fish should be more active right here. They haven't seen this bait yet. Oh, we got one coming up right up real, real fast. Oh, just missed it. We got two of them coming up real fast. I'm going to pay attention to my rod tip. And just missed it. Looks like small fish right here. Let's see if we could pull a couple up. Missed it again. It's got to be a small fish again. When you're catching, constantly catching small fish like this, you want to keep on moving. Otherwise, you're going to be catching small fish the whole time. Just remember that there's, there's more small fish than big fish. And that's that's why it's very important to hole hop and try to find the big fish. I don't know, we just moved here, but we're going to give it maybe another more another minute. And then we're just going to continue moving on. And yeah, my, my locator, is, it's lit like a Christmas tree right now. But it looks like it's going to be a lot of small fish. Uh, when they stop biting, <clears throat> don't hesitate to change your bait. I was using this uh, Saitler Waxy. 
Now I'm gonna go into a. I'm gonna go to a diamond pick. I'm gonna show you a picture right here. Okay, Lord's is a very, very finesse type of fishing. So it's a very slow type of fishing. It's not fast. And these plastic is very durable. You catch probably a dozen fish before it breaks off. So I'm just going to get it down there real quick. And as always, it's very important to keep your bait horizontal. Okay, now it's down to the range. I'm just going to wiggle my rod tip a little bit and then pause. Make sure you pause. Even with these diamond picks, even with the, the slightest movement, the tail is going to move. That's what I love about these hit lures. Now they seem like small fish, they're just uh, slightly nibbling. Again, it's time to move on. It's not marking as many fish, but we're gonna test it anyway since we already popped a hole. Sometimes just dropping a lure in will bring them in too. There's a few popping in and out right now. Not enough to keep my interest. Oh, there's some on the bottom. Let's get it closer to the bottom. There he goes, one's coming up. It's lit like a Christmas tree right now. And just pull one over its mouth. <clears throat> so we get some more to come up. There he goes. Feels like a real tiny one. Yep, just a little tiny bluegill. Not what we want. It's, there's still a few more fish down there. Let's cast it. Let's uh, put it down there again and. If it's another small one, then we just keep on moving. Again, it's lit like, lit like a Christmas tree right now. Today's a perfect day for hole hopping. It's not that windy. And it's not that cold either. There he goes. And it's another small one, so we're gonna keep on moving. When you're hopping, you wanna walk at least 20, 30 feet, pop a hole, and drop your bait in again, drop your locator in again. Looks like another small one, and it is another small one. But not. We're gonna drop one more time in there. Sometimes the big ones are mixing with the small ones too. This is a North Metro Lake, so it's not known for big crappies. Just average. The biggest crappie is probably about 10, 11 inches. But it's good eating size. And the main purpose of this video is uh, just to show you guys how to hole hop or how I hole hop. There he goes, got another one. And another small crappie. So we're gonna keep on moving. I'll show you this real quick. When you get crappies like this size, it's, you know it's time to move on. Even though I just popped this hole and I only caught two fish out of it. So hopefully you guys learned something from a uh, hole hop and basically 
you know, basically you literally gotta uh, cut a lot of holes and pretty much jump from hole to hole to hole and then the your setup makes a huge difference too i'm just using the inline this is the pc fun icx frost with a scepter by clam this is a 27 inch spring bobber right here so you can detect all the light bites you can also use noodle rods for this It'd be a great application for that as well and i'm using a finesse three millimeter chartreuse teardrop jig head with a hit lures and it's a very very simple setup and and just get out there and uh pop a lot of holes and just hop from hole to hole what i did is i i set up my light scope from my central station and then what i found is a whole bunch of school of crappies around this whole basin area right here so i take basically take my hummingbird or any flasher and then just pop hole and just start fishing for them so it's very very simple to hole hop and it's it's a very effective way to find fish that way so you can eliminate groups of uh, smaller fish and then try to find the bigger fish if you're getting a lot of smaller fish just uh, move on move like maybe 25 30 yards to a different uh, part of the basin or area that you're fishing pop some more holes and then start fishing again if you continue catching small fish just keep on moving or if you also you run into sunnies and you don't want sunnies yeah just keep on moving so that's why hull hopping is very effective technique to to fish instead of just sitting in a hub and just waiting for the fish to come sometimes that could be effective as well but if you want to have a lot of action get out there and hull hop anyways hope you guys like this video and as always follow your dreams follow your passions make it happen guys see you guys on the next video